You can believe in that shit if you want to. I refuse to believe in that man from the planet Risk. I refuse to believe in that man called Dr. York, the disco singer. I refuse to believe in that man called Iman Issa. I refuse to believe in that man called Reverend Dr. Melakazi York. I refuse to believe in that man called Pa Nabab Yanun. Because all of them motherfuckers are the same person. I refuse to believe in an organization called the Nubian Islamic Hebrews. I refuse to believe in that organization called the Holy Tabernacle of Ministries. I refuse to believe in an organization called the United Nubian Nation of Moors. Because all of those organizations are the same. Break the spell of Dr. Melakazi York. If you never heard of him, if you never heard of the organizations that I've just named, I applaud you. I congratulate you. Because if you did, you would know. You would be in front of this camera, mentally fucked up in the head, just like I am. I believed in a man that said he came from another fucking planet and that he has 76 trillion years of knowledge. That he came down to this planet by way of a mothership called Nibiru. That he is the 24th elder of the 24 elders. I believed in that. And the fucked up part about it is, part of the reason why I believed in it is because I was a misfit. I couldn't find me in Christianity. I couldn't find me in Islam. I couldn't find me in this westernized civilization. I looked for me everywhere. But I couldn't find myself. Until I came across an organization that I thought was right. That I thought had all the fucking answers. And I'm embarrassed to admit that I fell for the biggest scam and con that I ever seen in history. How can a man author over a thousand and something more books but never wrote them? The sisters in the background were writing the books. How can a man say that he came up with the Nuwabic language when the children of the organization came up with that? How can a man say that he gave us the land called Tamaray when the brothers were banging hammers and nails and together in order to build it? You see, the biggest problem is that man ain't shit when it comes to the people that built this organization. You see, y'all can come with that bullshit with me. And guess what? I'm going to spit it out because I know better. You can talk about how Dr. Malachi Z. York is innocent. And all he did was give and, 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 and help people. You could do all of that shit to me. But I'm going to kick that shit out because I know the truth. I spent close to 20 years in, in this organization. I remember not being able to fucking afford the wear, the, to buy myself a jacket. 
And when I was able to do it, niggas looked at me like I was crazy when I came to the bookstore with a new jacket on. Motherfuckers was like, nigga, you, you better make sure you have your turn in. Oh, oh. y'all don't want to talk about that, right? Y'all don't want to talk about the turn in that we had. Mine was $150 weekly that we had to give to fucking Tom Ray, which was Dr. Malakazi York in Edenton, Georgia. Y'all don't want to talk about that shit, right? Y'all don't want to talk about how the brothers and sisters weren't getting paid in the bookstore. I was one of them. Didn't get paid being in the bookstore, selling those fucking books. But yet and still, we had to fucking pay the light bill for the bookstore, the water bill for the bookstore, the rent for the bookstore. We had to invest our time and money into an organization that we built and got nothing out of it. Y'all don't want to talk about that. Y'all don't want to talk about how we had to pay for our own books. Even though we were, we were the ones that paid for the books. We paid for, for product. Y'all don't want to talk about that. So y'all failed to mention that shit. Y'all failed to mention when niggas was, 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 was threatened to get kicked out of bookstores and shit. Y'all failed to mention that. Y'all failed to mention the bootleg movies and CDs and shit like that that we were fucking selling. And how some brothers that was in the organization after fucking class, motherfuckers would go to the strip club and throw their money at strippers. Now, you may say, how the fuck does this fall in line with Dr. Malachi York? It has a lot to do with it because he's the man from Planet Risk and he sees all and hears all. So if he does see all and hear all, then that means that he knows what's going on in all the bookstores. And never once did we get a call stating to stop doing what we're doing. Because that man was interested in the fucking money. That's all we were, he was interested in. And we had sincere people that was in this organization, such as myself, that wanted to save my soul just as well as others. But we were always chastised. Always threatened to be kicked out of the fucking bookstore. And if you're kicked out of the bookstore, you can't be one of the 144,000 that Dr. York is gonna appoint and send up to Nibiru. And all the rest of the people on the earth are gonna go to hell and burn in hell. The great balls of fire, you remember that? That they're gonna drop down to destroy the fucking planet. You see, it's all bullshit. It's all bullshit. What about the planetary alignment? And between May 2003 and 2030, the Shams was gonna come down. What about that shit? What about this man having 76 trillion years of knowledge and information? Him being able to teleport, levitate, and all the rest of this shit. Having all these fucking Magical powers But he can't break himself out of fucking jail What about the Anunnaki's? How we used to pray to Enlil and Inky and Anu And then Turn around the story goes We were fucking praying To the Anunnaki's to eat us That the Holy Bible is a cookbook what about that shit? Y'all fail to mention that shit when you talk about how Malachi York is innocent and all he did was do good for people. Y'all fail to mention that shit. Y'all fail to mention where he gives descriptions of black devils and shit like that. You know how many motherfucking people I disowned family members and all the rest of that shit because they had characteristics or they uh, had, a physical, uh, had a physical appearance of a black devil? Remember? When he talked about the slope head and how that's a reptilian or eczema, how that's a reptilian. So everybody had eczema, slope head. I had certain fucking disagreeable characteristics. They were black devils. Or if you disagreed with something that he said you were a black devil. This organization, this man is not worthy.
to stand in line with the greats. My mind is fucked up. It truly is. My pockets are dry. All of the all of the fucking money has been sucked out of my fucking pockets. I remember when my motherfucking mom's had a she had she had she had a back. She was she was on bed leave for for years, and she needed prescriptions, but her prescription drug. But in turn, I said, you know what? Fuck that. Um, um Fatima, which was Dr. Malakazi York's mother, was sick. And she needed her drugs, and I would send her money monthly, weekly, fifty dollars. When Pops got locked up, the Blue Lodge said, "Yo, we need we need money for the lawyers, this and that." I was sending a hundred dollars then. Then I come up with my own fucking book. I write my own fucking book and shit. I have a website. I dedicate a fucking web page exclusively, exclusively to Dr. Malakazi York. And link up all his fucking websites to my fucking webpage that I dedicated to him. And don't give me that bullshit about how my bookstore was different from everybody else's. That's bullshit. I've been in two bookstores. The second bookstore I was in, a fucking new while being robbed, a bookstore. That was ridiculous. The cops came and shit, and we try and explain to the cops how this ain't insurance fraud. Because the cops are saying, hold on, let me get this right. This guy you know, because they had him on videotape, on camera. This guy you know? And then they're saying, well, what do you do? They pointing at me. I'm like, yo, I work at the at the at the bookstore. And they're trying to piece together how in the fuck is it that I work here but I don't get paid. See, this was a cult and this was a way to scam niggas out of their fucking money y'all niggas may look at it as being disrespectful but how how am I trying to bash somebody that has bashed me you know how many motherfucking names this nigga has gone under this motherfucker this nigga fucking claim he's a fucking a Native American, a Muslim, a Christian, a Moor, every fucking thing. This nigga said he was born in Ghana, Liberia, he from Liberia. Like, it's like some new shit every fucking week. Did you, did you ever ask the question, how the people the, the people that were victims of his hideous crime. Did you ever ask, were they okay? No. What you did is you tore them the fuck down. You had so many kids that testified. But you believe that one fucking man. Knowing that he did not write those fucking books. Knowing that he has lied so many motherfucking times. First he said, Jesus ain't real. Then he said, Jesus is real. Which one? He talked about Dr. Ben and Dr. Henry Clark saying that they were fucking devils. He's talked about Louis Farrakhan shitting on him. But you all think that he's this holy art thou motherfucker. You know there were people on the land that were starving, right? Niggas would be on the land begging for money. Because they were sleeping in barns and shit like that and they didn't have no fucking money. You know that? No, you didn't know, right? See, y'all niggas is full of shit. I have my own experiences. My own experiences. You know what I'm saying? I've, I've been in the studio. I made a fucking song. Hold on to the rope. Use my own fucking music, uh, uh, money. Made flyers and shit to help free his ass. And you know what the fucking New Albians did? They said, who are you? Who do you think you are to make a song and write a book? Fuck out of here, man. I'm not dealing with that shit no more. And you know what's so fucking painful about the shit that I've been through? I mean, there's so much that I can fucking sit back and say. 
But the most painful thing is this. I remember one time I was trying to get assistance with my light bill. And you know it was in the Wabian sister waiting in line with me. This is when I been had left the fucking organization. She was in, in line waiting with me. Had on her garments and everything. And she sat down and talked to me and she was like, yeah, you know, because I'm, I'm trying to make this money and do this. And she introduced, the, introduced me to all her children. And she was like, yeah, I need help with my fucking lights and my rent. And she was in a bookstore. The kids won't be remembered that have been molested by Dr. Malachi York. I won't be remembered in history. The female that I met, she won't be remembered. Nobody will be remembered. Like he will. You see, you all have made him into a martyr. Regardless of whether he dies in jail or not, in the years to come, he will be a messiah type motherfucker. If anything that I've learned from this current situation is that I have seen the birth of a modernized religion. That Nuwabu is a religion. And the Nuwabians will make sure that he will be remembered. You see, somebody like me that worshiped him, I am left with nothing. So now I start from the beginning again, trying to find myself.